Hello, hello, and welcome back to Brizzy. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can achieve this effect here in front using the carousel element and putting it on smooth, continuous scrolling. Let's jump into Brizzy, and this can be done in Brizzy Cloud and Brizzy WordPress, but as the carousel element is a pro element, you can only do that in the pro versions. Now you know the carousel element, right? Let's go to the elements here on the left, and then we look under content and grab the carousel element, hold and drag, and I'm going to drop it here. Now, what you usually get is you have a slider function with it. People can select to go right or left, or they can use the navigation dots here at the bottom. And then you also have the option to go ahead and put it on autoplay. If you put it on autoplay, what's going to happen, it's going to move like this, slide by slide by slide. What I'll do is first, let's put some images in here for this little safari. I'm just going to grab the images that are here and I want to remove this text. So I'll delete it. And if you ever wonder how you get that button to overlay so nicely with that, simply click on the button. You can go to the button or the button holder and I'll go there and then I'll drag it to a negative margin at the top and position it like so. Let's give it some text and call it learn more. And now instead of doing it for each of these carousel slides or cards, I'll go to this one with the elephants and I'll duplicate it. One, two, three, let's make five slides. And then all I'll do is go ahead here and change out these images with other images. With that, let's select the dots to move it along. And then I grab the next elephant, two more images to replace. Do I have giraffes? I, it's not yet. And then the last one. And then what we do after this is we go ahead and we delete the cards that are remaining, those that come in by default. So just move it. Let me just see. I have two. No, no. Okay. Go back here. And then I'll go to the top right corner. Click on delete. Do the same for this one. Click on delete. And I'll do the same for this one. Click on delete. Now, here comes the very important part because you're not going to find this as an aha feature there within the settings. It's a little bit hidden with a few little workarounds. And we're going to improve that much, much better. But for now, I want to let you know this feature is there and you can have that nice, continuous, smooth scrolling. What we do is we go to the settings of the carousel all the way to the left. And the first thing you'll do is switch on autoplay. It's not going to happen here in the back end. It will happen on the front end. And you need the autoplay on to work with stop time. This is what you want to do. You want to stop the time. And we've built in a feature here that when you put the stop time on zero, it will give you that smooth, continuous scrolling. However, if you grab the slider and you drag it to the left, it sticks there at one. It doesn't go below one. Not to fear. All you do is select the value and type in zero. And that's an improvement we will bring in a future update. Once you have it on zero, it's going to give you the continuous sliding. But we'll talk about the speed function soon. A little wrinkle that needs to be ironed out here, but there's also a workaround for that. Let's go and view it first. I'll click on update and then we preview it on the front end. Time for Safari. We scroll down and where is our slider? There's our slider and you're getting motion sickness probably immediately. You can see here in the back, it says 3.5 seconds and you really shouldn't care too much about what that means. Does it mean 3.5 seconds to transition a slide all the way from the left to the right or is it 3.5 seconds for the entire show? It doesn't matter. This value isn't indicative at this moment of what's really happening here. All I know, and you know, that if you look at the front at this moment, 3.5 is really too fast. Now, what I've done is I've played around. I took it up to 10 where it goes. I put it on 20. And I'm going to tell you that if you want it at a nice speed, start at 40. Just type it in. Those two settings then will have a nice little feature update in the future. At this moment, just remember that you need to go and change them manually to get this smooth scrolling, continuous smooth scrolling. And there we go, much better. You can remove the navigation, which I think is also a good idea. Unless you have like this, a call to action, you probably should leave in some of it, but I'm going to remove the arrows. I'll put it on none. And then I think there is some padding applied on the left and right. I also want to remove that. I'll just go and drag that to zero and zero update. And what we have here then is maybe Safari packages that you're advertising, and then you have the call to action here. It scrolls nicely. This is a good idea if you have an image gallery 
or you have a display of products that you just want to slide by and you can always add a link to it by just going to the cart area aka the column and click on the link and add your links over here as well if it is just an image gallery also remove the navigation but i'm thinking because i want them to click here on a link if one of the slides go out of frame and they want to navigate back to it you don't want to sit the entire five seconds and wait for it to come back you just want to navigate that by one of these navigation dots or you add the arrows for that did we update i think i made some changes let's update go to the front and refresh there you go we have a little bit more space i removed the padding and everything is moving nice and slow so that people can actually pay attention to what's happening on the page now whether you add more cards more slides here or you remove this speed is going to be continuous so therefore i like that 40 value as it currently stands Get cracking, get some continuous, smooth scrolling carousels going on your website today. It's a nice way to add a little bit motion to your site with images, makes it really attractive. From me, JP, I'll see you in the next video. Remember to visit us at brizzy.io.